Okay. Ready? Yeah. So GreenWave is a company that services IoT providers. And, and the IoT providers we're talking about are telcos and cable operators, utilities, big retail, customers that have huge consumer footprints. Well, why do we do that? What, what, what is IoT? Let's talk about that. IoT is not something new. It's not a revolution that came out of nowhere. It's quite simply the evolution of connectivity. Right? It's the evolution of compute. Think about it. PCs. The PC industry was really about you being able to get to applications and music and enjoy your technology. That offered millions of opportunities. Right? Lots of opportunities came from there. As it became more personal and more portable, it became mobile. And that gave billions of opportunities, but the same idea was the, for you, the internet of you. Nothing's changed. Now with what we have is smaller devices, more capable devices, more portable devices that are spread and distributed. It's still the internet of you. It's not the internet of things, it's the evolution of compute. That's our position. So today we're showing demonstrations of how to leverage this thing we call IoT to make it the internet of you. The first thing is to recognize technology that follows you. Technology like your media and entertainment, like your connected home, like your network management to make sure it works in the first place, to mobile IoT that you may find around you in the field. All of those things bring value, and all of them have a similarity. They're all technology that's complicated. All kinds of languages and protocols and technologies all buried underneath there. And if you were trying to build an application on top of that, it would be really complex and really difficult and not very scalable. So what we do is we provide a platform. Our platform goes across all of those categories. I'm just visualizing here. All across these categories, the horizontal platform reaches all the ones I talked about. Again, connected home, media, network management, and mobile IoT. Because we're able to reach across those, that means that a light bulb or a set-top box or a car can be represented the same way with the same common language. We call it Finglish. With this language, we're able to interact in a really great way. Once you can control a light bulb through the API, you can actually access anything you have the rights to as a developer. So it makes it very easy to build all kinds of great solutions around this internet of view opportunity that we call IoT. Okay? The way these kiosks are designed, get the water out of there, is they're designed to tell stories. The use cases, right? This is not a conversation about technology. This is a conversation about usability, about consumers interacting with technology. When they interact with technology so far, what's happened? Tremendous amounts of friction that cause costs and all kinds of negative impact. Why is that? It's because technology is created by technologists. I can say that because I'm a technologist, but technologists were taught at a very young age to think about things in terms of transistors, in terms of memory, in terms of CPU, in terms of programming and code, right? They want to sell products back to the consumer. They don't think down here, they think up here. So you have a usability gap that's here if you think about things in terms of code and program. So the way that we do this is we have that common language, that thinglish across everything, so that we can tell the stories when you get up in the morning or when you go to bed at night or safety or, or energy or security concerns that may be part of your life and be able to show how technology can work together to solve that problem. So let's talk about a different perspective. The way that we see this technology is not as devices, right? They're employees. Think about that for a second. How are we doing with the IoT that we know of today if they're employees? Well, if I hire somebody into the company of me, they gotta be trustworthy, they gotta be reliable, and they have to work well with others. Not doing so well, huh? And that's part of the challenge with IoT. It doesn't work that way. So you have to put a manager into that company. Those employees come in, and the manager is that platform. So we're showing the value of the manager, in this case represented by this bridge, able to talk to these different technologies, host code down into the home. We can go into detail about the technology behind this, we even have Lego blocks to talk about the architecture. But in general, the story is about making all these things interact. Now what's really great that we found as we were going through all of this is that we were creating not vertical applications for connected home, not vertical applications for you know, home control or for media entertainment, but 
a bigger opportunity. And it lended itself very nicely to other things. So first I'm gonna brand the room. We had a customer here, and we're able to brand the entire room based on the customer. So tell my home to welcome Greenwave. Okay, welcome now we've got our colors, we and we're back to our, our uh, Can I do slogan. anything else for you? This is voice. This is nothing other than voice for us. We also do the same thing with Nuance and the same thing with Google. We see them as voice. And then we take the voice and determine, based on the feedback they give us, what the intent is, what the model that you want to interact with. Is. So, in this demonstration, I'm going to take some control and we'll just roll through this. You can find videos of some of this online. Uh, we shared it on our, in our YouTube website to, to, to show the basic interactions. Tell me how to pause the video. Because the video is actually running all of these things. Try something. Pause the music. And we'll start okay. and think about the I lights. Because the lights pause. are really interesting. Try something else. Because it gives us this idea to, to associate new things. And before I do that, tell my home to remove the tag demo from lights. We're going to play with some things. Okay. I'm resetting okay. things. Demo has been removed from okay. five things that also have These are tag. lights, right? Lights. Is Kitchen there anything lights. else I can help you with? When we do this, listen to what she says. Tell my home to turn off the lights in the kitchen. Listen to her words. Okay. I turn two things which have the tag, have the tag. lights, and kitchen to off. Anything else? So what's interesting about that is now we've established a new paradigm. It's not about turning that light on, the light with the dress, blah, 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 or the light, the kitchen lamp on. It's things with the tag. Why is that so important? Well, if it's the company of, if they work for you. If I work for you and I was your program manager, you wouldn't say, oh, wait a second, let me add you to all the processes that define program management, because that's just too hard to do. Too much time and not scalable. You would simply say, hey, you're a program manager. Give me the tag. Then I'd figure it out for myself. And then, exactly, keywords. Billions of people understand this keyword concept. This is how we establish our nouns, the keyword. So the keyword in this case was kitchen and lights. So let's go through this a little bit more. Because once you have a keyword as a noun and you have context, you can create pronouns. So let's try this again. So tell my home to turn off the lights in the bedroom. Okay. And the living room. Okay. I changed so, two things. We have the tag. We kept the lights and verb, living room. And we changed oh. the noun. Can I do anything because else? Because we use the tags. Now the interesting thing about tags is it creates a relationship, right? So I'm gonna ask it about a tag that doesn't exist to show we don't have it. Ask my home to tell me about the demo. So I don't know anything about demo. But no Try thing. something else. Add the tag demo to kitchen island light. Okay, the tag. Demo has been added to kitchen. Turn on demo. Okay, I turned kitchen now, island light so on. Can I it do really gets interesting when you start to go and I'll think go. about technology. If you're standing aside and you want something to behave a certain way, you're kind of looking at the thing and saying, why aren't you behaving? You're not going to the rule, right? You're not going back and managing the process. You're saying, I want you to turn on. So I just want to be able to add the tag so that you behave in this new way, okay? so. Tell my home to add the tag demo to bedroom length. Okay. And we're just going to clear this light. Demo. Turn off the lights. Okay. Turn on demo. Okay. So now we've created a brand new tag. association. Demo. Um, you guys got that so far, else? right? And we can create a, we have a rule called flash. We're just going to tell everything that has a tag to flash. So we're, we're going to run a rule, a, a program. Tell my home to flash demo. Okay. I changed two things which have the tag demo on. Can I? Yeah. Flash demo. Sometimes she has trouble with certain ones. Okay. I changed two things which have the tag demo to flash. Anything else? Okay. So they're going to start flashing. Add the tag demo to bedroom lamp. No, without the change. Oh. Add the tag demo to living room lamp. So without changing anything in okay. this. Okay. Demo has been it's added start to flashing. living room lamp. Is there anything else I can rule. help you with? Add the tag demo to kitchen. So now this light's going to come on too. Okay. So okay. what we're doing demo has been is changing what rules do kitchen. without actually something else. 
by changing the association with the employee. Does that make sense? Okay. Go for the further. Programming. Programming is a really tough thing if you're not a technologist. Let's stop the flashing. Tell my home to stop flashing demo. Okay. Now I changed four things which have the tag demo to stop flashing. Programming. Is there anything else I can help you with? Tell my home to record a new scene. Mm -hmm. We're going to do several things here. Tell my home to record a new scene. Okay, I will begin recording the scene. Every step I do gets pause. recorded. Simply turn on the lights. Okay, I turn the... Make them red. Only the lights with color okay. can change. Okay, you... Make them green. Okay. Make them blue. Okay. Turn off demo. Okay, I turn four things which have the tag demo to off. Place the rock. Okay. Come on the door. Okay. Change the thermostat to cool. Okay. Change cool to 72 degrees. Okay. Make it cooler. Hmm. What is Make the thermostat cooler. Okay. I make thermostat. Or change the mode to night. I change the change the mode to safety. So I we're interacting with everything the same way. Is there anything else I can help you with? Pause the video. Done. Turn off the lights. Now we're going to save this okay. rule that we just created. Pause the music. Then we're going to save it. Okay. Save the scene as demo. So now what we're okay. able to do I have saved this is scene to activate the scene in a number of different ways. Steps. I can is tell it to just run the scene, but, but that's not any fun. What's fun is to anticipate where technology goes. This is an example of a product that is a Kickstarter company called Flick. It's a fantastic little device from Sweden. And this is just a push button. Push, double press, and press and hold. Now what we're going to do is connect this to the scene. Tell my home to connect Flick 1 to the demo scene. Here, for you. Okay. Flick 1 is not Press connected it. to demo. Click once to now, play the demo scene. You just kicked off Double the scene. To pause the demo scene. You can Press see every the step. Remember the colors we went through, scene. the variation. Here Red and green and blue. And we turned off. So this is how you program it. You just live with it. You just use it. Right? Now, what's really interesting is if you remember, we have... These lights, right? These are the lights that we gave the tag demo to. Right? Add the tag demo to living room. Demo to living room. Tell my home to add the tag demo to living room. This other light. Okay. So the next demo time it happens, two things that, that light's going to be affected as well. So we're able to add and change on the fly to make this happen. And this is doing exactly what we told it to do. Music, the thermostat, the modes, all of this is driven by the demonstration. Now, let's go a little bit further. It was cool to launch this, and you see it changing. It was cool to launch this with this guy. But we can do more with this for any of these devices, okay? A little bit further. The value of being able to interact with something is not to have to interact with it that way at the time. It's to interact with it in the way that you're most comfortable. So let's explore that for a second. This guy. Tell my home to connect Flip 1 to Sonos. <laughs> okay. Flip one is now connected to Sonos. Click so, once to change Sonos music. Yeah, I can double click it. Double click to play Sonos music genre. I click Press again. Press and hold to play or pause the again. Sonos music. Give it a try. And for your edification, if you're recording this, let's bring it out here. But we're able to pick the music just by doing that. Okay. Or hold on to it. Tell my home to connect flip one to door lock. Okay. Flip one is not connected to door lock. Flip one to lock door lock. Double click to unlock door lock. Pause the music. Okay. So that's cool. Now. To pause. The last thing I think that's interesting here is we've got another product here. This is a mode of swipe. Gestures. Tell my home to connect swipe to lights. 
Okay, swipe is now connected to all things with the tag lights. Swipe up to turn things with tag lights on. Pause the video. So down. down. Try something else. Swipe down. Swipe up. This is from a company called Favaro, and there's a lot of different products out there. And the idea here is we don't make any of this hardware. We just make this hardware more usable by enabling interactions like this. Okay? So we showed programming, we showed tagging, we showed the ability to change on the fly without having to change the program. And by the way, the program was just by using it. We didn't do anything really complicated. And that's a really great kind of rundown for your video of, of the value of a natural interaction because no time at all did we do anything that was home automation. It was never saying, turn on the lights. It was actually using tags to create nouns, the nouns creating context to go to pronouns, and then pivoting around verbs like turn on and turn off and make red and make blue. It's natural conversation because life is conversational. Any questions? Do you actually need to use that to... No, uh, it's easier because yeah. the open air mic sometimes has problems in the echo. Alexa, so, tell my home to turn off the lights. Okay. okay. I turn nine things which have the tag. Lights. The thing about this product is it's far field. Goodbye. It's far field technology. So it actually works much better from over here than it does right up on. Alexa. Tell my home to turn on demo. Okay. I turned five things. You're right up on it. It's not as good, so I use the remote. Can you do anything else for you? Play some jazz. Okay. Let's listen to some jazz songs. Anything else? Pause the music. Okay. I changed the songs to pause. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any questions? Hmm. There is nothing you can tell. <laughs> That's why I'm here, is because she thinks she's in every conversation. But that, I do want to make clear that this is not about us. This is about technologies and their argument. So everything that we just did there, I'm going to do through nuance. So this is using the same types of interactions. This is not Alexa at all, right? So in this case, we're using. Nuance speech recognition engine, and we're using the speech synthesis engine is on this device. It's not Alexa. Turn on the lights. Totally different. Turn off demo. Show you one more thing. It's important to understand the importance of security. If somebody was able to stand outside of your door and say, unlock the door, that's a bad thing because it doesn't recognize who you are. So, from a security spec trans, uh, uh, perspective, it's important to understand that. Unlock the door. So, two-factor authentication. You just get a text message that I can use at any time. See that number? That's a once number that's generated, and it is 4054. Author rock. And then I can go to that if I wanted to the same way. Alexa, tell my home to authorize 4054. Okay, I changed your oh. luck to a lock. Can I do anything else for you? Nope. So, this is a great example of higher levels of, of interactions and security when you need it within the platform. And we're, very, we're able to very quickly move up to that because of the interactivity that that single common English language gives you. <laughs> I think that should uh, be enough. Do you need more? Awesome.